It is a great tragedy when someone we know completes suicide. The emotional trauma, the stigma, and the guilt experienced by those left behind is also a great tragedy. My question is, why don't people talk about suicide? I mean, I get it. Suicide is scary. But if we don't talk, it can be fatal. Talking can literally save our lives. When we don't talk, we can't ask for help. When we don't talk, we can't see those who need our help. Twenty-seven years ago, I was a survivor of suicide. I remember thinking there was no way to stop the pain I was feeling. I felt rejected, isolated, ashamed, unloved. I felt overwhelmed. I remember hearing from Bill's mom about his attempt to suicide. I felt guilty that I had missed the signals. I think I didn't really want to believe what my gut was telling me. And then it was, it was too late. Choosing to live was a very difficult decision. I couldn't fathom going on. Choosing to die was also a very difficult decision, but at least it would put a stop to the pain. After Bill got out of the hospital, I wanted to do something to help, and yet I felt paralyzed. Most people considering suicide share their distress and their intent. What do you say? What if he tries it again? Whose fault was it? Back then, I wanted to tell someone what do you do when someone wants to take their own life? But because suicide is such a taboo subject, I had no one to tell it to. I couldn't get any answers to my questions, so I retreated to avoidance, denial, shame, and silence. People who have suicidal thoughts usually send out invitations for help. Unfortunately, most people dismiss these invitations. It's this type of avoidance and denial that keeps the problem of suicide shrouded in silence. 